There was wonder yesterday as many people observed a burning object streaking across the skies in some parts of Gauteng. Many speculated that it was a meteor, but it has since been confirmed to be a man-made object. Joining us now to discuss how we should understand and indeed deal with such objects is Dr. Daniel Kanema. He is a science engagement astronomer at the South African Astronomical Observatory. Dr. Kanema, welcome to uh, your daytime update. So there was a lot of speculation last night. Those who were watching the skies at the time, was this a meteor? Was it not? Yes, it has come out that it wasn't a meteor. But what is a meteor? So a meteor is the bright trail or glowing trail of uh, an object from outer space uh, or inter interplanetary space entering our upper, upper atmosphere and burning up. So at first glance, uh, this looked a bit like a meteor, uh, but we've later learned, as you mentioned, that it, it wasn't a meteor, but uh, a rocket body. And what is a rocket body? So uh, when a, a rocket is launched, there's a first stage, which is the primary booster, which boosts the, the rocket up into space. Uh, then there is a second stage, which is slightly smaller, which places the satellite or payload in the correct orbit around the Earth. That second stage then undergoes a deorbit, where it has another burn, so that it turns on its motors again and slows itself down so that it can crash back into Earth. And they do this to dispose of the second stage so it doesn't end up in space. Uh, and it normally burns up in the upper atmosphere, as we witnessed last night. So how does one discern whether it's a meteor or not? So meteors are generally a lot faster. So they're coming from interplanetary space. They're orbiting the sun. Uh, and they will enter our atmosphere at a very rapid rate. Uh, so this was a, a lot slower, which certainly gave the hint that it wasn't a meteor. Uh, meteors do break up much like we observed, particularly the really big ones. But the, the real telling factor here was the identification of the rocket body in question. So uh, the Chinese launched uh, a satellite yesterday, yesterday afternoon, and the, we know the orbit of that, that rocket, how many times it would have gone around the Earth and where it would have been when. And the orbit of that rocket aligns almost perfectly with this observation. So is this a South African body or South African institution that would have been responsible for, uh, for identifying this, this body? So we, we have uh, certain members of the community who are very interested in these objects and who do aid in working out these puzzles. Uh, but internationally, there's a lot of interest too in these objects. So there are various individuals and, and groups around the world who when something like this happens, they all gather together and very quickly try and work out what it was. So if this were a meteor, let's say, what would this mean? What do meteors uh, signify? What are, are they a sign of? So they're not necessarily a sign of anything. The interplanetary space is full of a lot of rocks of different sizes, so ranging from very small, you know, millimeters or centimeters across up to asteroids, which we know are, are hundreds of meters and sometimes even kilometers across. Now, we track all of the objects. Uh, we know of almost all of the objects, we think, uh, above about 100 meters, and those are the potentially hazardous ones to Earth. Well, they're, they're sort of city destroyers. Uh, and below that, we, we know a lot of the, the objects, the smaller ones, but not all of them. And for, for something of this scale, if this were a meteor, it would have been a, an object about 10 meters across. In fact, the rocket body it was seven meters long and three meters wide. So that gives you an indication of the size of rock that would have had a, a similar sort of trail. Uh, but these rocks are impacting us all of the time. So if you go out on any given night and you uh, look at the sky for an hour, you're, you'll almost inevitably see a few shooting stars. And those are very small rocks, which are entering all the time. Uh, very occasionally, we get larger rocks, and even less occasionally, we get big rocks. So it kind of scales with the size of the rock. We get small rocks very often. We get bigger rocks less often.
Dr. Daniel Kanema, certainly a very intriguing there. Thank you very much for that. So I guess the suggestion is take time in the still of the night when it's all dark to watch the skies because according to Dr. Kanema, there are lots of these uh, flying objects up around the sky. And who knows, you might spot yourself a little something. That's Dr. Daniel Kanema. He is a science engagement astronomer at the South African Astronaut.